welcome also from my side. Um, I'm Andreas Brian. I wrote you a lot of emails in the last couple of months. Um, I wanted to go over, if I can find the, yeah, so over some housekeeping first. Um, it should be fairly short, and then I wanted to give you a quick review of. Uh, the first workshop that we had two years ago and then what happened in between. So let me start this. So welcome again. Um, we are at Anchor's Mesa Lab, the oldest Anchor facility. Uh, we are here in the main seminar room. This is where we will have most of our uh, seminars. You entered from here. So we will have our coffee breaks and lunches down here. You saw the tables out there already. The poster session will be upstairs. So if you go out and then the, the stairs up here, the posters are up here. Restrooms, uh, women's restroom is in the ground floor. So in the same floor as we are in this corner, the men's are just one floor up. Um, and the cafeteria is over here. We will have our icebreaker and reception at the Tree Plaza, which is a very nice place. Hopefully the weather is nice enough to do that. Um, otherwise, we will move to the cafeteria as well. Um, so Wi-Fi, very important. You can log into Ucur vi a Visitor, then you get a pop-up, and it should be very straightforward to get internet connection. If you have Edu Room, you can also use that here. So I guess some of you already tried that out. All the information is also on the walls, on the on the on the doors as well. If you have to look it up later on. Um, so there is a bus, a shuttle bus that some of you already took up here from the Boulder Inn, which is down here, uh, the Best Western, where most of you are, are staying. Uh, the shuttle bus schedule is here. It's also on the, wall, uh, on the doors. Uh, so it will bring you up and bring you back down um, every day of the workshop. Um, so oral sessions, so just some um, overall overview how we structured the workshop. So we will have several keynote presentations, which are 30 minutes, minutes long. And then we have regular talks, which are 20 minutes long. So please try to stay on, stay on time. Uh, allow approximately five minutes for questions and answers. I will have uh, some cards, and I will give you a notice if five minutes, of, if you have only five minutes left and two minutes left. Um, so the poster sessions, we have the first poster session today at 5.15 to 6.15 upstairs. Um, so please put up your posters if you haven't done that so far. And put them down again uh, after your poster session, because we have a second poster session tomorrow from 5 to 6 at the same location. Um, so side events, we have several side events, because one of the main aims of this workshop is really to form a community to get you to talk to each other. Um, so we will have the first one today, um, which is a dinner under the sun. Under the sun is a, is a restaurant, which is just down the hill. Um, so the bus, if you want to go there, the bus uh, can uh, get you down there on the way to the hotel. Uh, we have a dinner reservation at 7 p.m. It's not a part of your registration, so you have to pay on your own. And they only accept cash or checks. But there is an ATM down there, and there's an ATM up here as well. Uh, then we have a second uh, dinner after the workshop shop at 6 p.m. on Thursday at the Dushanbe Tea House. We did this two years ago as well. This was a lot of fun. It's a really nice place, so if you haven't been there, it's a really nice restaurant to look at, and they have really good food as well. So this is on Thursday, and then we will have an excursion to Rocky Mountain National Park on Friday. And if you sign up for that, please find me later on today at the Icebreaker, which we ha will have at 6 p.m. outside the Tree Plaza. Uh, to talk about some logistics. Um, yeah, this was the housekeeping. Now I wanted to get a quick review of the first workshop and what happened in between. So this is a graphic that I showed at the first workshop. Um, this is the number of papers who cited uh, convection permitting or convection resolving climate simulations uh, according to Google Scholar. You can see we started somewhere at the beginning of the th 2000s and the number of papers got up pretty heavily. But since the last workshop, it's got up really, really heavily. So <laughs> what you can see is I think this year it will be the first year where we probably will get 100 papers on this topic. So this is a very fastly evolving community. And I think this is even more exciting that we can get together and talk about this uh, very novel science um, during this two and a half day workshop. So these are the people who have been here. Several of you are here again, which I think is a good sign. So welcome back. Um, we had. The first meeting, 6 to 8 of September, very similar time. 
at the Mesa at the Foothills Lab, um, approximately 70 scientists from 13 countries. We are approximately the same size uh, this year again. Um, so we have uh, the the, web the website of the first workshop is still online, and we uploaded all the talks and all the posters and the slides. So it's it's very transparent. We did this because. Many people cannot be here because they have problems with uh, funding or, or their schedule, so really to be as open as possible and to give them access to what we talk here today. If, you're not, if you do not want to get your talk recorded, please let me know and we won't pull it up online afterwards. Um, yes. Um, so what we did after the first workshop, we uh, organized a special issue in climate dynamics and we got quite a few contributions. This is from July 2018. We had 34 manuscripts that had been submitted to the special issue and 13 were already published. So all these papers are all already online so you can look at them and their, their, their submission deadline is already closed. So we will have a formal uh, publication uh, later on, once the rest of the um, submitted papers are reviewed as well. Um, so we, what we also did after the first workshop, we um, created an email list uh, which should foster the communication within the community. So if you have some news to share, for example, if you're organizing a conference, a workshop, if you have a, a job opening which is in, in convection permitting climate modeling, um, you can email us to this list. There are 201 members on this list. If you're not on the list, let me know and we can add you on the list as well. Or we can add you automatically um, since you're already here if you're not on the list to, to stay in touch, to stay informed. Um, so we had a lot of sessions at international conferences. So the, the community was pretty active. We had uh, three sessions at HEU. So Roy is organizing them. There's another one this year. Um, we had always a dinner as well, which is very nice. So we had a get together afterwards. Uh, we had four sessions already at each of you. There will be one next year again. Um, and we had one session at this GWEX meeting this year in Canmore on convection permitting modeling. So if you want to organize a session, please do so at these meetings and, and also use the email list to inform the community to submit papers. Um, and this, this was also another outcome. We wrote a workshop summary after the first workshop in BAMS. Um, we, um, we summarized five or six key challenges from the first workshop, so this was the main outcome, and I just wanted to go th briefly through them. Um, the first one was the computational resources. So I, th I think many of them we are still facing today, or maybe all of them. I think we made some progress. Computational resources are really heavily uh, so you need a lot of resources. There's a high data volume that you have to handle, uh, which is a big issue. Um, they're assessing uncertainties in convection permitting modeling is a big issue, and we will have a session on ensemble convection permitting modeling this year, which is very exciting. Um, then we, we often miss high resolution, high quality observational data set. This is coming back to what Wanda said be before. Uh, this is really important for our research. Um, then we ha should explore um, convection permitting models beyond precipitation, so added values beyond this precipitation, because many uh, many studies are really focused on precipitation, which is not a bad thing, but I think there's more to look at and to really understand the processes that are behind changes in precipitation, for example. Um, and then, of course, the model physics are a big issue as well, and we have to rethink how we use the physics in our models because many of those physics are coming from coarse resolution models that might not be really suitable to what we, how we use them today. Um, so this brings me to this workshop. So we had 60 submitted abstracts. We have seven keynote talks over the next two and a half days. We have eight oral sessions and two poster sessions, uh, two breakout sessions. So we will have one breakout session tomorrow and one on Thursday. Uh, we will talk, let you know uh, how this um, works later on when it comes to the point. We have this year also a student presentation award. So several students signed up, so, and there are also judges, so please um, judge the students' presentations and return the forms to us later on. We will announce the, um, the winners on, fr on Thursday uh, in the last session. And as I said before, we have lots of breakouts and side events, so please talk to each other and enjoy the next two and a half days.